Hello, welcome to any TVN channel. It's useful when you can create two or more websites on one server. So how do you want to do that? Watch this video till the end to know how. In this example I use the Ubuntu operating system. First, I update and upgrade the Ubuntu server operating system to avoid errors arising during the installation process. Next, I installed Apache, a widely used web server software. And to create websites I use WordPress. Since WordPress is made by PHP, next I installed PHP. You use the command hostname I to check the IP address of the Ubuntu server. To check if Apache has been installed successfully, open any web browser and enter the IP address of the Ubuntu server. Next you install MISCL server to create databases for websites. Before creating the databases for your website, you should set up the security for the database. You will be asked to create an admin password for MISCL, write down this password to be able to create a database for your website. Next, you choose yes for the next options. Next you use the password you just created to access MISCL. After successful login, you create the database for the first website. For the first site I created a database named WPDB1. Next I create a username WPUSER1 with password as password1. Then I will grant WP user 1 account permission to WPDB1 database. So I have created the database for the first website, you need to write down this information for use in the next steps. Next step we will create the directory to store the first website. I will create a folder called site 1 and host the first site there. You use the wget command to download the latest version of WordPress. Then extract the downloaded file and copy the files to the current directory. Don't forget to grant permission to upload photos or post to the first website. So I have created the first website hosting directory. Next you need to configure Apache to know where your first site is. You copy the default Apache configuration file and name it site1.conf. Here I have already created two domains for the two websites in this example. For the first site I use the domain netvnsite1.tk. We need to declare the domain name in site1.conf config file. Also, you need to specify where to host the first website we created in the previous step. Don't forget to save your changes when you close the configuration file. Next you enable the newly created site and disable Apache's default site. Then you restart Apache for the changes to take effect.
before using the website on the internet I will test it on the local network so I will edit the host file on the Windows operating system. You open Notepad with admin rights and add a line that includes the IP address of the Ubuntu server and the domain name of the first website. Let's try to configure the site first. Open a web browser and enter the domain name of the first website. Next you use the information about the database created in the previous step to configure WordPress. These include the database name, username and password. You will be asked to create an admin account for the site first. You fill in the required information to complete the WordPress installation process. So the first website is done, the next steps will create the second website on the same server. Basically the same steps as how to create the first website. With the second site you create another database. Here I will create a new database named WPDB2. And I will also create another username and password for this database. Username is WPUser2 and password is Password2. Just like the first site I will create a folder named Site2 to host the second site. You can copy the downloaded WordPress archive or download a new one. Here I will download the new WordPress and then unzip. Then copy the obtained files to the newly created Site2 folder. After granting permission you are done creating a second website storage folder. To let Apache know you have a second site, copy the config file and name it Site2.conf. Just like the first website you edit the domain name corresponding to your second website. Then you tell Apache where you host the second site. Don't forget to save your changes when you close the configuration file. You then enable the site2.conf configuration file and restart Apache for the changes to take effect. Next, edit the host file on the Windows operating system so that you can access the second website for configuration. You open a web browser and enter the domain name of the second website and configure it. Here you use the database information for the second site to configure. You note the database of the two sites is different. Do you need to write down information about the database to avoid confusion? Just like when configuring the first website you are also required to create an admin account. As you can see, I have two sites on the same Ubuntu server. The next steps will make these sites accessible over the internet. On your router need to forward two ports 80 and 443. 
port 80 for HTTP protocol and port 443 for HTTPS protocol. In this example my Ubuntu IP address is 10.11.32.78. You can forward ports on most routers. After successful port forwarding, edit the host file on your computer so that the two websites can be accessed from outside the internet. So you can access these two sites from anywhere. Next, we will encrypt the communication between the user and the web server using Let's Encrypt. In the previous step I forgot to introduce you to why domains know your public app address. Here I use FreeNOM so I manually updated my public app addresses. So when I use the domain name, the websites are accessed successfully. Next you configure the domain names to enable HTTPS protocol. You substitute the respective domain names that work for you. With the first configuration, you will be asked to enter your email address. Then you make selections like I am doing. If you receive the above message, you have succeeded. You can verify the results by refreshing your first web page. You will see a lock icon next to it. You do the same with the second site. So I finished creating two websites on the same server. With this way you can add multiple websites on the same server. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to NetVN channel.